Hello guys, good day. Um, for today, um, our tutorial is about um, on how to change the uh, IP address if you if you change if you change your IP on your BC dial server. Um, right now my local IP, my server IP with my phone is 10 to 47 but my and this one, uh, for now our first settings is on how to update your BC dial IP so this is my BC dial IP right now and then on my config so here is my IP is 39 so we're going to update our server IP from uh, 247 to 39 so the command it should be so uh, I have a completed command here so this one uh, update IP so this is the command user share application so update server IP.pl then enter just put yes so this will be your old default IP so 247 okay that's correct and then server IP so just put your new server IP here okay so they will show you an update form here so old IP and your new IP then just click on yes so wait so after that you need to check if all the settings is updated the table reports of okay, remote agent so I think it's all check then change it already to uh, 39 so if I refresh again my server okay so that one they show me unread so let me check <coughs> so for that we go into reboot our server after changes to sync the database and the master server on okay so let's check the server okay so let's check our conference okay for the report so, so we need to uh, update so for now we're gonna reboot our server okay just wait a few minutes so okay after it's reboot uh, going to restart our session Okay, so uh, let's check. So first, you need to check your screen. Uh, wait. Okay. Screen LS. So I have only two running socket. So just wait to uh, run. Okay, that one. So all socket are running now. And then, so I will check my. refresh my page so okay so now our web server our asterisk server are working good because we have already green here so if we test our server if it's working so no, wait wait let me check my agent 101 user so my phone is 101 So my server is connecting on the uh, on the my web. So so if you see, I'm my web page phone is disconnected. So I'm to refresh. I just want to check. So what happened to my test server? Registration field. So
still unpinned so wait i want to check my so okay let me conference not found So, I'll check my, because I changed my IP, so I need to check my, uh, so my local IP here, <coughs> check, so, server local IP so that one I'm already registered on my VG phone so now uh, I gonna test if it's already connected because I changed my local IP and but I, I did not change my zip.com setting so that my my VG phone was not registered okay so check I think it's working good so <coughs> for now uh, we are finishing date on our IP address okay guys uh, for today this is our tutorial again uh, we only change our IP and change some settings on our zip.com to work again our VG phone so then you see is I'm already registered my VG phone uh, and then uh, for now uh, this is the tutorial uh, for today so don't forget to uh, like and share my channel to others and so that they can learn more about basic settings about the VC dial uh, open source call center system so no need to get an uh, any prepaid source call center sy system because VC dial is a great uh, software for especially on uh, small and medium enterprises they are using it uh, many and thousands of companies using VC dial then some of companies they already sell the VC dial they modified some the interface like that so me for me uh, VC dial is a good uh, system for for call centers so so guys uh, don't forget again to like and share my channel so that you have uh, updated on my latest video Upload. So our next topics uh, will be on how to reinstall your uh, reinstall the VC dial and upload your existing database to new VC dial server. So maybe I will just reinstall it and upload it so that I will uh, they they will know you on how to do that. Especially if you are handling server and you need to make uh, you have a bug on the server on your old server, then you need to full out you need to make a test on your uh, development server you can you can pull out all the database and upload to your development to check the bug where is uh, the bug on the server or what's happening and then on how to make a basic refer if uh, basic refer on the database so so that uh, if you are experienced uh, experiencing some not syncing the call or the phone is registered but uh, they did not sync the uh, call to uh, your zoo phone or your web phone etc so guys thank you f again for watching my videos and listening my tutorial for all the basic settings on how to work on VC dial so thank you guys and have a nice day